Hello, today's reading is coming from my devotional, 30 Days of Transparent Faith, and we are reading from day 17, Faith with Action. The scripture is from John chapter 5, verse 6 to 8. When Jesus noticed him lying there helpless, knowing that he had been in that condition for a long time, he said to him, do you want to get well? The invalid answered, sir, I have no one to put me in the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I'm coming to get into it myself, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, get up, pick up your pallet and walk. Faith without action is dead. While it is impossible to please God without faith, it is also impossible to fully exercise the faith we profess without action. Abraham had faith in God's promises, but he had to move from his place of comfort for God to fulfill his purposes. What are you hearing God telling you to do for him? Why have you not started? So this story, um, the story of the invalid, is very practical uh, because truth be told, the invalid had a valid, valid response to Christ. One, he was unwell, he was invalid, he couldn't take himself to the pool. And when he could, someone else would get ahead of him, perhaps because of the nature of his illness, he couldn't move fast enough, perhaps he couldn't see um, if there was anyone on the line and, and therefore, you know, kind of get there fast. So there are many practical barriers towards him getting well. But Christ approaches him in a very unique way. He asks him, do you want to get well? Like he didn't, he didn't go towards any other direction. He was like, do you want to get well? It's a yes or no kind of you know, answer to give. And, and he said he wanted to get well, but he didn't say directly. He gave excuses. He said, if it's not this, it's the other. And Christ tells him one thing. He doesn't say, oh, your faith has made you well. He doesn't say, I understand. Oh, I pray that God may heal you. He says, get up. Plain and simple, get up. Christ gives him actions. Three, he tells him, get up. He tells him, take up your pallet. And he tells him, walk. And that is what we are called to do. You have faith for God to do something. You've made a request for God to do something. Why do the excuses come up? Why does every time you need to do something, something else keeps popping up? You need to apply action to the faith. Perhaps you're, 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 you're telling God, God, I need um, a job. The action is very clear. As you pray for God to give you a job, send out applications. Is your CV up to date? Perhaps you can send someone to check through your CV to make sure it's good. Consult. Uh, partner with people, volunteer. It doesn't have to be a, a straight up the block kind of a kind of job. You can just start as a volunteer. God has called you to open up a business. Uh, do you wait for the perfect opportunity? No, you start with where you are. God has called you to authorship maybe. Start with writing one sentence, two, set clear goals. You're praying to God for financial increase. Are you a wise spender or are you a spendthrift? Ask God to give you grace for that. Uh, have a budget. Uh, go to people who are managing their money in a way that you, you see is good and plug into that. Apply action, not excuses, to the faith you have and you shall see results because we are also told faith without action is dead. So is there something God has called you to do? If you've not started, truly, why have you not started? Thank you.